Pawtucket. The proper pronunciation is Pawtucket. It's like you're spitting a tooth out. It was a cold April night, Easter Eve. The wind was blowing in really hard. It wasn't the ideal conditions. Easter Sunday, I thought about resurrection. I thought about redemption. It's like a spiritual moment unfolding. If there is going to be the longest game in baseball history, it belongs in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. In the larger scheme of things, this is a meaningless game. We weren't even sure if we were going to play because we had a light tower out and uh, the game was delayed. Nothing's really happening. Rochester scores in, I think, the seventh inning, one nothing. Pawtucket scores in the bottom of the ninth and a sacrifice fly. OK, extra innings. Now it's the 15th inning, and it's after midnight. We wondered at some point, and everybody was kind of whispering around, is there a curfew? But that was really never addressed, and the umpires didn't know. And so we just kept playing. We continued to play and play and play and play. For some reason, that single paragraph saying that no inning shall begin after 12.50 AM disappeared. It's as if it like fell out of the notebook, rolled under the table, and no one saw it. And the game continues. Once we got into like the 18th inning, it's war now. There was a couple balls that were hit really good. I remember Sam Bowen hit one on a 3-0 pitch. And I thought it was way over the light tower and, and left field. Left fielder goes back, looks up. We're hooping and hollering, and all of a sudden, the wind blows it right back. And I says, if that ball didn't get out here, we're going to be here all night. I bet you there were 10 balls that could have been homered any other night. It was that crazy. It's like, oh, yeah, there it is. No. In the 21st inning, Rochester scores, so now it's two to one. It's the bottom of the 21st. And I came up with a gallon second and uh, two outs and hit a double to tie the game. He's standing on second base. He looks into the Pawtucket Red Sox dugout, expecting to see cheers and claps. And his teammates are just glowering at him. In the 22nd inning, the Pawtucket Red Sox manager, Joe Morgan, argues a play, and he went bonkers. He got kicked out. At that moment, it tips into the surreal. It's become unmoored from Pawtucket, and it's like floating in the cosmos. The rest of the world doesn't matter. But the rest of the world is wondering where people are. This is probably 2 in the morning now. She says, Joe, where are you? What are you doing, drinking beer all night? There is no way this game is going on. Believe me, there's still a game going on. And she hung up. Still not believing me, I'm sure. The bat boy, well, he forgot to tell his mother there would be the longest game in baseball history being played tonight, and he wouldn't be home until well into the early morning. So she went to collect him, and he refuses to go. I can remember that. I'm like, there's no way that I wanted to go home. We just kept going and going and going. It's nuts when you think about it. The president of the internationally famously crotchety lifetime baseball guy finally deigns to pick up the phone. A Pawtucket official tells him, we're still playing baseball at 3.30 in the morning. You're still playing baseball? End it. So the score is tied 2-2. Two to two. They will resume this game the next time Rochester is in town. Birds are beginning to chirp, and these guys are going home for baseball. It's two months later. Major League Baseball goes on strike. An entire nation looks for its baseball. Oh, wait, what's going on here? The Rochester Red Wings and the Pawtucket Red Sox will resume the longest game in baseball history at McCoy Stadium in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Pandemonium, it really was. We had reporters from Japan and, and all over the world. It was like the World Series. And that inning takes 18 minutes. Rochester doesn't score in the top of the 33rd. And then in the bottom of the 33rd, Dave Koza, the first baseman, gets up to the plate. And he hits this looper over Cal Ripken's head. The Pawtucket Red Sox have won the longest game in baseball history, three to two.
The fact that a game could go into extra innings and that those innings could last forever is part of the charm and the distinction of baseball. It was as though baseball was celebrating its own wonder, the pure joy of chasing after a little white ball on a green field.